Hey guys, it's Trithika. Welcome back to my channel. I'm at the airport right now. I feel like I'm mostly at the airport these days. And I'm headed to Kazakhstan. So I'm super excited about this. I'm heading there with their tourism board. They've invited a bunch of different bloggers and YouTubers from all over the world. And it's gonna be me and one other YouTuber hopping back from India. So that's super cool. So I'm in Delhi right now. I left Mumbai last night. So it's been quite a long journey already. I had a very long layover in Delhi. So I thought I'll film a quick Q&A video because I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys in a very long time. So no, this is not a vlog. The vlogs will come after my trip. Um, uh, but yeah, this is just gonna be a chatty Q&A video because I have to kill time at the airport and also I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys in a very long time. I'm literally finding very random spots at the airport to film. Uh, so I posted a story on Instagram. If you're not following me, follow me there and uh, asking you guys to send in your questions. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of questions here then get some food and answer a few questions along my entire journey to Kazakhstan. So let's get started. So yeah, there are a lot of questions in here. I'm gonna answer them in random order because there's so many of them. A lot of questions are about what my next destination is. So quick update on my travels. I just got back from Czech Republic. That was such a fun trip. And now I'm headed to Kazakhstan for about nine or 10 days. So I know I haven't been posting too many travel vlogs on my channel, but it's just because I've been traveling so much. So I have a lot of unedited videos. I'm gonna sit and edit them after Kazakhstan. Uh, but yeah, Kazakhstan next. What difference has it made moving to Mumbai? So if you watch my video on why I moved to Mumbai, there were a bunch of different reasons. One, it was very difficult to travel from Bellore. Firstly, I actually never, I used to live in Mumbai for like four years and I only left temporarily because I thought uh, it made sense to save money on rent because I was just starting off on YouTube. So my plan was to just like go back home for six, seven months and then move back to Mumbai. That ended up being like a year. So my plan was always to move back to Mumbai because uh, I have friends here, I have a life here and it's a nicer city to be in uh, in terms of my work and career. But yeah, one of the major reasons I moved was traveling was getting so difficult from Valor. Literally each time I would leave Valor, I would have to combine three, four trips. So this one time I had to do Ladakh, Goa, Jaipur. So I was carrying clothes for like all of those places and it just gets difficult to work like on the go so that was one big reason and yeah it's helping me with my youtube channel as well and i feel like i'm getting uh, to attend more events and like i'm getting more work opportunities so it's pretty cool and i love mumbai so anyway i'm gonna go get some food and then answer some more questions so i've just come to the airport lounge now and here's what i'm eating I've got some idli, some toast, a banana. I think that's all I have the hunger for now. So let's continue answering some more questions. The next one is, how did you edit your videos when you started and how to get rid of hesitation in public? So honestly, for the longest time, I didn't start YouTubing because I thought editing was very complicated and like I didn't know how to edit. But uh, yeah, there is a bit of a learning curve involved. You have to learn how to edit the basics at least. I started with that and if you look at my initial videos, there's like very basic editing. I think that's all you need to know when you're starting. And there are a ton of free tutorials online. So that's literally such a good place for you to start. So that's how I started and how to get rid of hesitation in public so i'm filming this in public now and there are people looking at me so it's a bit awkward for me still uh, but i think with practice you just have to force yourself to do it uh, once you do it a few times you get used to it now i don't really bother as much but uh, yeah it just comes with practice do you make money from traveling yes i do sort of make money from traveling i did a whole video on how i make money so i'll leave a card over here you can go check that out how do you manage to get sponsorships for traveling how can a common person get that so i don't think a common person can get sponsored trips because the tourism boards and brands that sponsor my travels uh, they do it because they're getting value out of it and uh, i'm providing content and i'm like reaching out to my audience so if you can provide some kind of value to them only then i think you will get a sponsor trip because no one's giving out free trips here i'm waiting for your prague videos when are you planning to post those i had such a good time in czech republic i can't wait to share those videos with you 
honestly i got back from czech republic i had two days in mumbai and now i'm leaving for kazakhstan so i've literally not had the time to edit any of my videos so as soon as i'm back from this trip uh, i'm going to start editing those videos and upload them and i'm planning not to travel anywhere in september let's see how that goes where is your pastel blue handbag from and which brand just love it i actually have that bag here with me this one and it is such a nice bag it, it was so inexpensive i got it from miniso and i think i got it on sale for like 300 or 400 rupees would you rather have free food or free travel but only in india that is such an interesting question let me think free food or free travel I feel like this question should be easier to answer but it's such a difficult question but I think I'm going to say free travel. So the next question is please how do you edit your photos I love them. Thank you so much. I edit using this app called Lightroom. Uh so I have the paid version but the free version is good enough as well. I keep saying I'm going to post a video uh, explaining how I edit my photos but I just haven't had the time to do that so I promise in September when I'm not traveling I'm going to film all those videos. What camera do you use to vlog? So right now I'm using the Canon G7X Mark II uh which is what I primarily use for my videos but I also have the Sony A6500 which is a mirrorless camera. Okay I'm just going to finish my meal now and head to my gate because I think my flight is about to start boarding. So I'll answer the remaining questions in a bit made it on time my flight hasn't started boarding yet i think it's a bit delayed actually that's my gate and yeah everyone's just waiting and man you have to walk so much in this airport but anyway let's get back to the q and a now Hey Krithika could you give me some info on how you carry your drone to different countries so funnily enough today i actually faced some issues with my drone batteries so usually i check in my drone and i carry the batteries in my uh, hand luggage but today uh, the guy at the security check was just not letting me carry those batteries and i literally had to beg him to take them uh, so i had this issue in mumbai in delhi they were fine with it so i don't know i've never had this problem before but i don't think i'm the right person to be answering this because my drone is also like a very small drone it's the dji spark so i don't think there are any issues carrying that but if you're carrying a bigger drone you probably need permits and stuff want to know what your instagram activity time is okay i actually don't know let me check mm this is interesting this might be embarrassing so on instagram it says my daily average is 2 hours 39 minutes which i suppose is not so bad because instagram is also my job but yeah that's just my excuse to use instagram we know you love traveling so much so is there a feeling of homesickness that creeps in yes that happens a lot of times in fact right now it's at its peak and i really honestly didn't even feel like going for this trip because i'm so exhausted from my last trip but uh, then i just had a pep talk with myself and i realized that i should just be grateful that i'm getting all these opportunities it's so cool that i'm getting to travel so much uh, and explore different countries that i'd never thought of visiting like kazakhstan so yeah i'm just grateful for it but of course i do feel homesick so next month i'm planning to just like be in mumbai uh and i miss my family too but i'm going to see them in october i think so that should be nice could you visit more places in india and tell us more about vacation places within india so i answered this on my instagram as well but the thing is i have traveled so much within india of course there's a lot left to see uh but ever since i was a kid i've been traveling and i think i've covered like 22 states so a lot of northeastern states are left and i still haven't been to Madhya Pradesh which i've heard is beautiful and a couple of other states so i do want to visit those places but i don't feel like visiting places i've already been to just for the sake of making youtube videos uh so i wish i'd started vlogging much earlier but uh, vlogging wasn't a thing when i was a kid so yeah i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon unless like i get invited for a trip or something like that okay i'm going to do one last question because my flight is about to start boarding how do you manage with your period when you're traveling this is such an interesting question and funny because i literally got my period today and uh, it does get difficult and i have to go trekking in two days so good luck to me but uh, yeah i feel like it usually ends up happening when i'm traveling and i just try to keep my schedule light for that day uh, but it's not always possible like on this trip so yeah i don't really have a good answer for that i've just gotten used to it i think also 3 4 months ago i started using menstrual cups and they've been such a life changer because they've made traveling and just like your whole period time so convenient so uh, yeah sorry if this is tmi but yeah i thought this was an interesting question Tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you 
but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Made it to Almaty in Kazakhstan. The flight was quite short. It was only a three and a half hour journey, and the views from the flight were amazing. Also, Almaty is like the biggest city in Kazakhstan, and it used to be the capital, but right now the capital is Astana, which is actually now called Nur Sultan. So anyway, just waiting for my luggage. The immigration was a bit intimidating because the language here is a barrier. Uh, but yeah, everything happened smoothly, so I'm just waiting for my luggage now. This is such a tiny airport, it's so cute. Also, as soon as I landed, it started pouring and it's so cold outside. I'm not carrying any proper winter clothes because I checked the weather online and it didn't seem to be very cold, but today it's quite a cold day. Also, I totally forgot this was a Q&A video. I'm so used to vlogging that I just started vlogging, but I guess this could be like a mix of Q&A and vlogging. So yeah, waiting for my luggage. There's no Wi-Fi here and my phone doesn't have any internet right now because I haven't activated international roaming. So I hope the people who have to come pick me up, I just find them and everything goes smoothly. So got out of the airport, it's still raining and Aigul here came to pick me up. She also got me a gift, thank you so much. So yeah, we're just gonna head to the city now. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Life, life. Checked into my room and I have all this space to myself. So now the sad part is we're not really in Almaty for too long. Almaty wasn't really part of the itinerary and we're just here for the night. So basically uh, there are around 30-35 bloggers and YouTubers and Instagrammers on this trip and they've divided us into different groups and each group will tour a different part of Kazakhstan. So my group is touring the southern part of Kazakhstan, basically Turkestan and Shimkent and then we'll all end our trip in Astana uh, where there's a two-day blogger event. So unfortunately won't be able to see Almaty but it's only 6 p.m. now so I think I'm just gonna go out and take a stroll and uh, see the city a little bit to get the feel of it. This is the view from my room and it looks like it stopped raining although I can't really tell and wait oh my god those are snow clad mountains I think. Wow, that is insane. I can literally see snow-clad mountains from my room. So I'm dying to head out now. I'm just gonna check if it stopped raining. Also, for this video, I have a few more questions I need to answer. So let's get to that now quickly. Okay, so where were we? Five must-go places in the world that you've been to. Loads of love, Ria. Thanks, Ria. So, uh... Of course, India has a lot of places, uh, so I'm not going to talk about the different places within India, but India is one country that I love traveling in. Uh, I really enjoyed Vietnam. Actually, every place I visit, I end up liking something or the other about it. So I don't think I've ever been to a country or like a place and not liked it. So India, Vietnam, Iceland, Australia and Czech Republic because it's very fresh in my mind right now. Also, this video is probably very random and I'm literally surviving on like three hours of sleep but I just feel like I haven't caught up with you guys in so long and I've been missing doing that. So I'll post my travel vlogs later on because they take a lot of time to edit but I thought I'll quickly put something up on YouTube to just catch up with everyone. Next question is your top tips to grow a travel YouTube channel from scratch. So honestly, when I started my channel, I never planned for it to be a travel channel. In fact, even now in my head, I don't think my channel is a travel channel, but I think I should start accepting that because I post so many travel videos. Uh, but yeah, if you're starting from scratch as a travel channel, I think it might be a good idea to cover places that uh, are popular on YouTube. For example, Goa does really well on YouTube, Northeast India does really well. So maybe cover those places because your videos might get traction and also in your videos, try to provide value to your audience. Uh, so create good quality videos, uh, make your videos look nice and try to cover places that are trending. So that might help you when you're starting off. So that's all for the Q&A. We're gonna head out now. I think it has stopped raining or at least I hope so. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go visit the cathedral over here because I've heard it's very beautiful. It is so cold outside. I'm not prepared for this weather. But anyway, I'm walking up to the cathedral now, which is one of the popular tourist spots. It's like a 20 minute walk and uh, the tourism board gave me a SIM card, so that's very convenient. And Almaty is actually a very safe city and Kazakhstan in general is a very safe country. Until I said yes for this trip and did a bit of research myself, my image of Kazakhstan was basically what I'd seen in the movie Borat. And it's nothing like that apparently and I can already tell it's nothing like that. You hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight 
So first impression of Kazakhstan, it's honestly nothing like what I expected it to be. Almaty is such a modern city, it's so beautiful, so many youngsters here, so vibrant. The music here is great, I can hear music in a lot of cafes, lots of cute cafes also. And uh, yeah, it was just not something I expected. I'm quite impressed with the city already, even though I've just been walking around for like 15-20 minutes now. In the beginning I just didn't know. Also a little fun fact about Kazakhstan, it said that apple cultivation started in Kazakhstan first and from here it was sent exported to other parts of the world and now it's available everywhere. So Almaty is where apple cultivation is said to have started and Alma literally means apple so I think Almaty means land of apples so I thought that was really cool. Finally made it to the cathedral and oh my god look how beautiful this is. You did everything to prove me wrong You were not the guy I thought Now I'm beating you at your own Yeah If I got a dollar for So cute Say hi Say hi Say hi <laughs> end this video now honestly I wasn't really planning on vlogging in Almaty because I was barely gonna see Almaty but I'm kind of glad this whole video happened so I could document some parts of it also this video is I know very random Q&A bhi hai vlog bhi hai but I hope you enjoyed it uh, I'm just walking back to the hotel now it's starting to get very cold if you enjoyed this video give it a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel press the bell button I'm gonna try to edit this video tonight and upload it soon but once I'm back in India I'm gonna post my Czech vlogs first and then my Kazakhstan vlogs uh, so stay tuned for that I'm planning to do like multiple videos from Kazakhstan so I'm quite excited about it also if you're not following me on Instagram please do because I'm very regular there and I post stories from all my travels so yeah follow me on Instagram and that's all for now I will see you guys next time bye